Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Sins of Tempo County Corso. So I wanted to show you guys kind of a little bit of the inner workings of what goes on here. Um, it's going to be a long day. I'm going to try to get uh, multiple videos out, videos out today because um, it's Friday. But just wanted to show you guys what we're doing right now. So this is a daily thing that I have to do with my puppies. Um, so Savannah is getting the bed... So we have this um, bed that we, uh, like a lifted bed, or whatever you want to call it. My brain's not working. I've been working too hard this morning. Okay, so what we do is I got these garage, um, I got them at Home Depot, and they're for a garage. You put them down, and it's kind of, you know, just like a, I'll take a look and show you here. It's just like, you know, pretty thick rubber. Um, so... They're little tiles. You can see here how you fit them together. So that actually can be a little bit tighter. There we go. Um, and then we have the puppy pads underneath because it's not waterproof. It doesn't keep the water from going. It's wet right now because every day we put the puppies in um, this kennel over here, which is really dirty because of their feet. And, um, and then we... Um, so we take them out and then we take these mats out and we um, take some dish soap and one by one we scrub them with an old broom, um, get them clean, rinse them off, um, stand them up to dry as best we can and then we bring them in. We've got puppy pads underneath to catch any of the liquid. We've got their litter box right here. Savannah, are you bringing the bed? Sounds like she might be coming. Are you bringing the bed? Uh, not yet. I'm just, I had to put it in a more sunnier part directly in the sunlight. So I had it over here. Uh -huh. I don't think it was drying as good as if it were in the direct sunlight. Okay. So she's getting the cages. I also take the cages out because the puppies um, have been making quite the mess lately. I feel like maybe I need a wider, because they're so big, I feel like I need a wider litter box. Um... They use it, but sometimes they miss. And so, we got some wood in that. Um, but anyway, so I take those outside as well. And we will rinse off the sides and all this, because you know, they get their feet on it. And so this is actually glue from back whenever we were duct taping the things together. You can see there's a little bit of duct tape there. Um, but anyway, so we take those, we scrub them. I take them, put them on a big rubber mat out there, put soap on them, scrub them with a broom. Get them nice and clean, and and then we we get in here and we start um, putting it all together. This is a daily thing for us here, and um, I want it to be where they can't get to the puppy pads too, Savannah. Okay. Perfect. So we'll pick that up. Um, perfect. So. And then we've got a much taller piece that goes around it because they can easily push that down. So we have a much taller piece that, um, that goes around it so that they can't um, get out. And then, like I said, we do have the raised bed. Um, it's kind of like a hammock bed in a way that we put over here as well that they're able to like chill out on. And yeah. That's literally what we do every single day. Um, just one of our daily chores until the puppies are big enough to be able to hold their bladders and to where we don't have to worry about um, them going to the bathroom in the house. And then also today, and um, I'll show you. Here's the dogs sleeping. Um, so today we're going to be buying flooring plank floor waterproof plank flooring it'll be like a wood look-alike for the floors in here um i'm just sick and tired of steam cleaning that's really the truth it's it's not that you can't keep a carpet clean with dogs like this um but the problem is that you end up working yourself crazy and it's just not even worth it i mean the amount of money i'm spending on floor cleaner and all that kind of stuff is just ridiculous right now so um so there's just no point in it so we're going to replace the flooring. Um, it'll actually increase the value of the home too. So that's kind of cool. 
And then that way, you know, if, if we do have a puppy that makes a mistake, it's as easily as walking up, using the paper towel to clean it up and, you know, doing a mop. And it's like, it's so much easier. So, um, so that's going to be done. And then I also looked um, at a couch set yesterday, a leather couch set that I think I'm going to get. Um, and then other than that, um, I think that's it, honestly. Um, oh, and I'll tell you about um, uh, Liberty here. So Liberty um, has had a bad habit of taking off um, lately. She for whatever reason, just decides to book it. And so she is on, um, and she, not just does she decide to take off yesterday, she literally took off while I was calling to her and that's just a hundred percent not okay. And so, um, what, what my thing that I do with a dog like this is I, if my thing is, is whatever it is that you can't do or won't respect, then I take away from you. So she will not, um, is not being, um, responsible with her freedom basically and so she's um, you know taking advantage so my thing is now is that well if you can't handle having freedom then I'm going to take it away from you and so she is officially if we go outside she's on a leash if she's inside she's on a leash we'll do that for the first week and then after that um, I will start to let her off a bit test her recall if she comes when she's called, then everything's good. If she decides, I don't know if I want to come or not, she goes back on the lead immediately. And that is how I will teach her, if you want freedom, then you better well listen. If you, you know, want to be tied up, then buddy, you can be tied up, but you're not going to get to disobey me and take off and not listen. And that's how I personally handle it. Um, I've had some suggestions from um, other breeder friends of mine and whatnot that they use e-collars for that, and I'm sure that they work really well. But I'm kind of old-fashioned, and I do things my own way, and so I'm doing this first. If it works, then that's awesome. If it doesn't, then we will go to something like that. I also got her a tile, you know, those um, for the, like, when you lose your keys. Um, I got one of those. That way, whenever I do start testing her, if she does decide to take off, she'll be very easy to track. She won't be able to get away from me, and she'll learn that... No matter what, she's not actually going to get away with what she thinks she's going to get away with. And typically when a dog realizes that they cannot do what it is that they think they want to do, then they'll stop trying to do it. So um, so anyway, so that is where I'm going to go with it. It's, it's kind of more like I think how like a Native American would have handled it, you know, with an animal is when you can't trust them, then, you know, you, you tie them up and they learn to get their freedom you know they earn their freedom it is it is something that has to be earned if you can't you know be uh, respectful and you know be a obedient dog and come whenever you're called then you know then obviously because it's it and this is the point is some people would say well why don't you treat her you know do treats and blah 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 well the truth is i'm not going to bribe my dog to do something that she already knows how to do it's not like liberty doesn't know recall it's not like she doesn't understand to come when she's called that's not the issue the issue is she decided that she didn't want to and the funny thing is is that liberty is actually one of my better dogs she's a very good dog she's very submissive this is not an issue of dominance okay this is not like i don't respect you so i'm taking off this is literally an issue of she has a wandering spirit and she wants to do that and you know she thought she could get away with it and um and so you know so anyway so she learned she couldn't and now she's tied up she hates it but you know what that's the point of it they're not supposed to like it and so um as soon as she um, we've done a week of this and she's doing well i will release her off of there see how she does if she doesn't do well if she doesn't listen she goes immediately back on and you best believe that she will understand that her uh, movement is being restricted because she did not listen. And that will be cemented by the fact that I will do it immediately, okay? As soon as she doesn't listen, I track her down, I put her on leash immediately, you understand? And and it'll only take a couple times of that, if, if that, um, to get her to understand that you either stay with the pack or I'll make you stay with the pack, one of the two. So um, she's the only dog that I've even had to do this with I have not, none of my other dogs have that kind of wandering um, trait, but you know, this is how I've decided to, um, to address the issue. And I will update you guys as we go along with the progress. But now I'm going to show you the kennel 
um, the puppy area since we've been Savannah's been working on it. Um, yeah. So as you can see, it's fine. So as you can see, here's the puppy pen area. It's much taller around the edges. And um, hmm. Um. Yeah, I would put it back there still because we need to put the puppy bed over there. Okay, cool. So you, it, with us, the puppy bed has to be over here because it's, it's so um, the puppies are so big that if you put the puppy, the the bed like anywhere else, like over here where it's short, they will hop right on, you know, hop right on over it. Yeah, he's pretty tall. Yeah, he will, he will literally just hop right on over. Go get the bed for us. Yep. Yep. So, um, anyway, but yeah, this is, like I said, this is a daily thing we do. We do it together, Savannah and I, and, um, yeah, and it works really well thus far. Uh, it's still a dirty business. Make no mistake about it. Handling one puppy is like, okay, that's fine. You know, it needs to go to the bathroom. You take them out, you know, maybe if you got two, even it's fine. They'll kind of sync together. But when you have two puppies and then all my other dogs, including other puppies that also need to be potty trained, like. Although I will say that ch everybody else is pretty much potty trained by now. I was having a hard time with Admiral. He was really being um, just very kind of absent-minded about it. He would just go wherever he wanted. And um, and so anyway, so that that was not okay. And But like I said, he's actually started to get better. I, I really had to get on to him a couple times. He went to the door a couple times too. Yep, yep. Now he goes to the door. Yeah, now he goes to the door every time I open it. Whether he needs to go or not. If he goes to that door, I open that door, okay? Very important that you pay attention to your dogs. I can't tell you how many times that one of the biggest mistakes that people make when it comes to potty training is this is the saying. This is what I always hear. But he was just outside. I just took him outside. I don't care if you just took the dog out two seconds ago. If he gets to that door, you let him out. And the reason for that is because you don't know. Puppies are... are fickle little creatures and sometimes they go out and they don't need to go to the bathroom and sometimes they come in and it's like oh all of a sudden I need to go and if you don't let them out then they're gonna go in your house and every time they go in your house it's gonna be much harder to get them to respect the house and go outside so if they go to the door let them out um, regardless of how you feel about it. I can't tell you how many times I told my but I just let them out I don't care if you just let them out let him out we're in training right now this is what we're doing it's not about us, it's about them, you know, until when it becomes about us is when they're actually old enough and um, smart enough to be able to hold their bladder, okay? You can't, I can ask many of my dogs to hold their bladder. I cannot ask a puppy to. They're not going to. They're going to go, they're going to give you, if at all, they'll go, the, the number one thing they usually do is they just start searching around, smelling around the floor, looking around, doing circles, and then you know it's coming. But if you actually have a puppy that's good enough to go to that door, buddy, you better open it because they'll stop going to the door if you don't. So just a heads up on that. Um, so anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. I, pardon? Oh, the bed, you got the bed out. Cool. 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 Um, beautiful Giovanni, beautiful Giovanni, huge, as they say in Texas, huge. <laughs> You're so beautiful. He's a big old baby. I do. I don't like how long his ears are, but I'm thinking he'll grow into them. I didn't like cashmere's when she was young either, and she grew into them. Isn't he such a sweetie? He doesn't have puppy breath anymore. I love him so much. So much. So much. Okay. All right. So, um, so yeah, this is the bed we got them. Um, I found this at PetSmart. I cannot tell you how much I love this thing. It's super awesome. Um, like soup, the puppies love it. They just lay in it all the time. I think it's better. Um, so that's what I do. And, um, anyway, and so, um, and so that's where we're at. So that's the puppy bed and, uh, they haven't eaten yet today. I need to feed them. I also put their water in here and their food in here whenever they need to eat. I don't leave the food in here though, but I do leave water in here. Nope. And, um, well, there you go. Nice. He's going to pee on his bed. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a work in progress. That's right. They're not all very smart about it, unfortunately, but that's what the puppy pads underneath are for to catch it. And like I said, we clean it every day.
So, um, and that's a big, that's a big reason why we can't just have them out. They don't, it literally does not occur to them at this, at this age to be doing better than that. Um, and so, uh, anyway, so, you know, if you have one dog, you can easily potty train a puppy to be better than that. And if I lived in my old house where my, I could keep my, where I keep my puppies right next to the door where I could just immediately let them out, then that would be awesome. But that's not the way my house is. I have stairs up to my house. I can't be having these puppies go up and down stairs. So there's a, there's a lot that complicates it, that makes it more difficult. Um, so mm -hmm. ideally, whenever I move, I'm going to have an entire outside building, um, you know, security and air conditioned even with an apartment in there just for me. And that's where I'm gonna um, have all my whelping um, mothers and my litters of puppies and stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys what's going on, give you an update on what we're doing today. I do wanna take Belladonna to the dog park as an update today, so hopefully I'll have time to do that. Yesterday we had a crazy heat advisory. It was like heat indexes of 108 to like 114, something like that, it was insane, so. It's another big reason I want to move away from Texas. It's too hot to do anything here. There are times when all you can do is come inside and just wait it out. And that's annoying as crap. If so, your AC doesn't go out. Yeah, if your AC doesn't go out, exactly. Those are the times. So um so anyway, so I'm really excited about um about that. So the the work we're doing on the house is a good thing as far as making it nicer for the for people to, to want to spend more on it. So anyway, I'm gonna talk at y'all later and I hope you guys are having a great Friday. Bye.